Hello, in the video coming up, we will look at how you can set up QuickShare on your Chromebook. So today we're going to look at how you can set up QuickShare on your Chromebook. It used to be known as Nearby Share, but it's been changed to QuickShare. And essentially, I'll just quickly explain what it is. It's just so you set up your Chromebook or any other device so you can get files from other devices. So I'll quickly show you, this is on my phone, first of all, without it being set up. So I'll just go to files and I'll just click on an image I sent yesterday and click on the share icon at the top there. And if we go to quick share, as you can see, it finds my tablet all okay, but it doesn't find the Chromebook that I'm working on. So the first thing we need to do is go to your settings at the bottom right. So go down to the clock there, click on there, and then click on settings. And then from there, click, click on connected devices. And then you'll see quick share. And it's not set up. It's not set up as standard nowadays, quick share. So you have to set it up yourself. So here, just click on the setup and you need to put the device's name. Do you might have a device name already there? If not, you can just put your device name there. So we just leave it as that Dan's con uh, Chromebook and then device visibility you can choose. So all contacts essentially means that anyone in your contacts can, you can share with them or you've got the other options that are available. You've got contacts, your devices, hidden. So if you chose hidden, for example, then nobody will be able to find you unless you choose to share with that individual device. Your devices at any device that's logged into the same Google account. So if you've got two devices, three devices, all logged in the same Google account, they'll be able to find you, or as I said, you can find contacts. So we'll just leave it on your devices on this one and then confirm here. Okay, and that's on there, so that's on now. And as you can see, we've got the, the details here. Visibility is on, visible to everyone. So you can choose that as well. So if you want it to be visible to everyone, you can simply go into, now it's set up, the um, quick share. As you can see, it's no longer got set up. So you just go into there and you get, that's where you get all these options from. And from there, you've got your contacts and data usage, Wi-Fi only. You can change that. So if you're not on Wi-Fi, you can change it. So it also uses your SIM data, show notifications. Okay, so that's all set up. So now we should easily be able to share. So if we go back to my um, phone, so if we go to files and then we we'll click on this one here, then go to share and then quick share. It comes up with my tablet. It doesn't there, but as you can see, it comes on your desktop enable. So click on enable. And now you can see it's got the Chromebook showing on your phone. And then you simply click on that like that. And then on your Chromebook, you just do accept. And there you go, that's your image. So that's really easy to set up. So now you've got quick share set up. You can just go down to the menu here and you can see you've got quick share set up there. And you've got there and we've got it on. You can turn it off, obviously. And here, if you do have any problems where you still can't find your device when you're looking, the best thing to do is just put visible to everyone. And then that will should show up on your Chromebook or on your phone, depending on which way you're sharing. So you can share the other way as well, of course, from your phone, from your Chromebook to your phone. And also from the quick share there, you can also click on settings and that will take you to the settings page as well from there. So I hope you like this quick video on how to use quick share, which is formerly nearby share. If you did, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.